everyone. Welcome to our sustainability chat, where we're checking in with Henry, Frank, and Jill about the global land conservation course that they're teaching this fall. At the Harvard Extension School, we're really fortunate to have so many instructors who bring decades of professional experience and practical expertise to the courses we offer in our nine certificate and two ALM graduate programs. We hope that you'll join thousands of other adult learners who come to the Extension School each year with a hunger for knowledge that will help us address the challenges and opportunities presented by climate change and equitable global development. One of those key skills is managing land conservation. And I'm happy that Jill, Frank, and Henry are joining me to share more about their course. Folks, can you share a little bit more about the goals of your course and who should take it? Sure. Um, well, I'm, I'm Henry Tepper. I can start um, just to give you a little introduction and thanks for this opportunity, Lindy. So our course has an interesting origin story. Uh, Frank Lowenstein and I have been working for 30 years uh, in different capacities in the discipline of applied land conservation or land conservation practice. And we know firsthand that for all of this time, the land conservation field has experienced continuous and exponential growth, and that there are numerous opportunities to enter the field and to have an exciting and meaningful career doing this work, just like we have. But we also know that with only a few exceptions, there is no formal training available to teach people the basic skills that are essential to becoming land conservation professionals and to understanding the critical role that land protection plays in global conservation efforts. There are literally no courses offered in land conservation practice taught at any level of any university in the United States or around the world until now. Frank and I decided to address this huge gap by developing and teaching this course. So at at least one university, the Harvard Extension School, offers a class in applied land conservation. We've been teaching the course for six years now, and we seem to have struck a positive chord among the students who've taken it. Frank, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, Henry, you said it well. Um, what I would say too, is that over the six years, the course has grown and changed. Um, we've benefited greatly uh, by the input from the students, from the uh, fa other faculty and administrators of the Harvard Extension School, like Lindy, who's given us lots of great feedback this year as she makes her mark on the program. Um, and um, I think that what has changed is the course now really includes a lot more about the interface between conservation and global climate adaptation and mitigation, which is a huge and important nexus. Global. Uh, natural climate solutions are an important piece of solving the global climate crisis. And we also are placing land conservation in more of a cultural and historical context uh, on an international basis that really um, emphasizes the growing attention to social justice and equity that we have in society at large and how conservation has sometimes not uh, played its role in that and how it can play its role in that moving forward. Uh, we've also benefited now for six years in having uh, Jill Haley Murphy as our teaching assistant. And Jill, you, you're a graduate of the sustainability program. Tell us what you think about the, the goals of the course and how it fits uh, with the rest of the program. Well, um, first of all, I have to just make my own pitch that I think this is a wonderful, wonderful program and it has benefited me in countless ways, both professionally and personally. I was a litigation attorney for many years and done a complete 180 into the sustainability field and it's, it's all been wonderful. Um, I think that this course is a very important course for everyone in the sustainability program, regardless of whether or not you want to specifically go into the land conservation field. And the reason that I say that is because this course really places sustainability in the context of global environmental change. It's not narrowly focused um, on, say, a, a corporate approach or a uh, an emissions reduction approach or a technological context. 
it's great background for no matter what uh, part of sustainability you wish to attack after going through the program. So I recommend it highly for that reason. And it's been so much fun working with Frank and Henry for these years too. And the students are great. That's so, that's so great. And your course is always raved about by the student body. Um, what's the one thing you each would want a student to walk away from this course knowing or um, being ready to do? So um, I think what I hope for is that students would come away from the course with an appreciation of the importance of conservation and particularly land conservation to sustainability of the planet. And if, they, if we get that, I'm happy. And, and I would say, should I, uh, I'd say that we'd like people, a little similar to Frank, but a little bit more, um, that we'd like people to come away with an understanding that applied land conservation is practical, creative, extremely important and can be personally and professionally fulfilling and that people who take the course might be able to envision themselves doing it. Um, we also include a, a pretty detailed description of the learning goals of the course on page three of, this, of our syllabus. So we, uh, we urge people to take a, a close look at that. Jill? Well, um, I think that land conservation serves pretty much every one of the sustainable development goals um, of the UN. Uh, from biodiversity preservation to water resources to carbon sequestration and also to environmental and social uh, and economic uh, justice concerns. So I think that if people can come away from this course with that understanding of the importance of land conservation in all of these sustainable development goals as a part of any sustainability platform that they are working on, that would be fantastic. I think that's a really wonderful point uh, because this course is also available to the students in our global development practice graduate degree program. And we always encourage students to think about shaping their curriculum so that they are exposed to a variety of different sustainability and global development strategies. So thank you three so much for taking the time to chat a little bit about your course and uh, I will um, make sure that uh, folks can reach out to you uh, with a link to your syllabus and your email address on the slide that you'll see next. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Lindy. Thank you.